Are you ready for the unexpected? Here we go. Number one, they built perfect structures without modern tools. Let's start with the obvious jaw dropper, the Great Pyramid of Giza. Base covers about 13 acres. Each stone block weighs anywhere from two to 80 tons. And they fit together so tightly you can't even slide a credit card between them. No cranes, no bulldozers, just human brain power and muscle. Here's where it gets wild. The pyramid is aligned to true north with an error of only 0.067 degrees. NASA needs computers to get that kind of accuracy when aiming spacecraft. Ancient Egyptians did it using simple tools like sighting rods and shadow measurements. There's even evidence they might have used the stars as a blueprint. And here's the kicker. If you scaled the pyramid down to a coffee table model, the sides would still be perfectly square within a fraction of a millimeter. Then there's Stonehenge in England. Those giant sarsen stones, some weighing 25 tons, were dragged from nearly 20 miles away. The smaller blue stones over 150 miles. And yet, they were arranged in perfect alignment with the summer and winter solstices. It's basically a prehistoric observatory that doubles as a giant calendar. Even the ancient city of Teotihuacan in Mexico shows urban planning genius. Its main avenue is aligned with the setting of the Pleiades star cluster. The entire city's layout seems to be based on precise astronomical and geometric measurements. It had multi-story apartments, a complex water drainage system, and plazas so perfectly proportioned that aerial photos looked like they were designed in a modern CAD program. Number two. They were GPS. Before GPS. Modern sailors who lose GPS in the middle of the ocean usually call for help. However, ancient Polynesians were navigating thousands of miles of open ocean. No maps. No compasses. Just the night sky. Ocean swells. And the flight patterns of birds. They could read how waves bounced off distant islands they couldn't even see yet. Some navigators memorized over 200 star positions and seasonal changes, building a mental map of the Pacific Ocean. In fact, when NASA wanted astronauts to learn how to navigate without electronics, they brought in one of the last master Polynesian navigators to teach them. That's right. Number three, they performed mind-blowing surgery. Ancient surgeons weren't just lucky with sharp rocks. They had real skill. In ancient India, the physician Sushruta described over 300 surgical procedures and 120 tools made from wood, metal, and even sharpened shells. He could perform cataract surgery by sliding a needle into the eye to push the cloudy lens away. A technique modern doctors still recognize. In Central America, Maya dentists replaced lost teeth with carved seashells that fused into the jawbone. That's right, they were doing functional dental implants over 1,000 years ago. And they did all this without anesthesia. Antiseptic wipes. Or that awkward small talk during the procedure. Number four, they knew math that stumps us. Over 3,000 years ago, the Babylonians created a base 60 number system. They used it to make astronomical predictions with insane precision. Some clay tablets show eclipse predictions that were accurate within minutes. That's without telescopes or calculators. Ancient Indian scholars calculated the Earth's circumference with only sticks, shadows, and brains. Their margin of error less than 1% compared to the actual measurement. And remember, these people weren't punching numbers into Excel. They were carving equations into clay, chiseling them into stone or scratching them into palm leaves. Yet they came up with formulas to measure pi, calculate the solar year's length, and even determine lunar cycles with shocking accuracy. They also invented the concept of zero, the foundation of all modern math, computers, and engineering. Number five, they engineered better materials. Roman concrete is the stuff of legend. They built harbors, aqueducts, and amphitheaters over 2,000 years ago, and a lot of them are still standing. Meanwhile, our modern concrete crumbles in about 50 years. 
The Romans mixed volcanic ash into their concrete. Over time, this ash reacts with water, causing the material to grow crystals that fill in cracks. Yes, their concrete heals itself. We've only recently started trying to copy this, and it's still not as good. Think about that your driveway falls apart after a few winters, but Roman roads are still good enough to walk on after two millennia. Number six, they survived without comforts. You might think you could survive without electricity for a week. Spoiler, you probably couldn't. Ancient people survived ice ages, mega droughts, and volcanic winters. They didn't just get by, they adapted. In deserts, they tracked the behavior of birds and insects to locate hidden water sources. They could store food for months without refrigeration by drying, fermenting, or sealing it underground. In the Arctic, Inuit hunters could tell wind direction changes by how frost formed on their eyelashes. And here's something that should humble us anthropologists believe ancient hunter-gatherers processed more information per day than most modern humans. They had to remember hundreds of edible plants, animal tracks, seasonal cycles, and weather patterns, all while avoiding predators. Meanwhile, we get stressed when we forget our Netflix password. Number seven, they engineered the impossible. Ancient builders left structures so precise that modern engineers scratched their heads. The Inca fortress of Sacsayhuaman is made of giant stones so perfectly cut that you can't slip a credit card between them. Some weigh over 200 tons. That's heavier than a fully loaded 18-wheeler. And yet they were hauled up steep hills without wheels or cranes. The walls zigzag in a lightning bolt pattern which not only looks cool, but also absorbs earthquake shock like a giant stone shock absorber. Centuries of tremors, and not a single stone toppled. In Cambodia, the Angkor Wat Temple complex is aligned with astronomical events so perfectly that sunlight hits exact points during equinoxes. And here's the kicker. The site covers more than 400 acres. No drones, no AutoCAD, just brains, muscle, and a mastery of math and astronomy that would make a NASA engineer blush. Number eight, they created weird art. 17,000 years ago, artists painted in the caves of Lascaux, France. The shading, perspective, and motion in these paintings are so advanced that some techniques wouldn't reappear until the Renaissance. Some animals are drawn with multiple legs, possibly to suggest motion basically early animation. Then there's the Nazca Lines in Peru. Gigantic designs of animals, plants, and shapes carved into the desert floor, stretching for miles. The kicker. They can only be fully appreciated from the air, yet the people who made them had no planes, no drones, no hot air balloons. Either they had a way to map from above that we don't know about, or they could visualize designs at a scale modern architects still find difficult so maybe we're not the peak of human intelligence. Ancient people didn't have Google, but they remembered everything they needed to survive. They didn't have GPS, but they could read the ocean like a book. They didn't have skyscrapers, but they built monuments that have outlived empires. The next time you picture ancient humans as clueless cavemen, remember this, they pulled off engineering feats, medical procedures, and survival tricks we'd struggle to copy today. And they did it all without Wi-Fi, coffee machines, or power tools, no YouTube tutorials, no weekend trips to Home Depot. If the lights went out tomorrow, most of us would be Googling how to make fire on a dead phone. Meanwhile, an ancient human would already be halfway through building a house from scratch, roasting dinner over a perfect campfire, and maybe painting a masterpiece on the wall. We'd be standing there in the dark wondering how to boil water while they're inventing civilization.